Hi, my name's Sam, and right now I'm in the Mars Desert Research Station in Hanksville, Utah. So I'm going to give you a little tour around our habitat. So first of all, we're in my stateroom right now. This is my home for the two weeks that we're here. A little bit cramped, but it's pretty cozy. So let's go out and see what the rest of the crew is up to. So this is kind of our, uh, this is the upper deck. This is our kitchen and living space. We've got some of the crew members up here relaxing. So Melanie, what are you up to right now? Um, I'm working on my VR training module for the crew to teach them how to use a spectrometer in the field. Okay, awesome. And what's your role on the team? I am a crew engineer. All right. Justin? Hi, I'm Justin Madsell. I'm the crew journalist. I just got back from an EVA a little while ago, and it's very cold out there, so I'm just warming up with these hand warmers. What does EVA stand for, Justin? It stands for extravehicular activity. It means going outside. All right, awesome. You want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Shitish Mall. I'm the crew executive officer, and I'm also working on human factors part of the team. So I'm doing yoga every day along with the team and seeing yeah. its positive effect. So you got a yoga mat right here? Yeah, there is a yoga mat, and each of us has this in the morning from eight to eight thirty. We all do yoga and try to reduce our stress. All right, awesome. Thank you. Thanks, sir. So we're gonna go down the stairs of death here and see the lower deck. See who else is out. Here's our commander, Max Fagan. Hey, Sam. What are you working on right now? Uh, I'm cleaning off uh, our rover. This is a Phoenix. It's our uh, remote controlled rover that we sometimes take out of the habitat, and I'm just working to keep it clean. Uh, one of the most toxic aspects of Mars is actually its dust, and uh, that's a pretty good simulant here. The dust gets everywhere, on everything, into everything. So you Excellent. Work to keep it clean. Would you mind showing us the EVA prep room? Uh, sure. So if you come around here, uh, this is the uh, EVA prep room where we keep all of our suits. We have two types of suits. One of the conventional heavy backpacks with a drop-on helmet. And these suits, which we call exosuits, which are one piece and you can just drop on and turn on just like that. So we use these if we need to make just a quick jaunt outside, uh, do some engineering work, or uh, read a number off of a gauge outside. Okay. Uh, when we want to head outside, this is the main airlock. We open it up, uh, depressurize, and then head out there in about five minutes. Uh, if you take a peek out there, you can see some of our rovers or our ATVs. Okay. And you are a crew commander, what does that mean? So that means uh, I, mainta I maintain the responsibility of keeping everyone on schedule, everyone knows what they're doing, uh, everyone has the resources they need uh, to complete everyone's individual tasks, and uh, basically I'm in charge. Okay, thank you Max. You're welcome. So yeah, this is the lower deck, the lab space here with that rover. Um, pretty average bathroom area over here with some medical supplies. Now we're going to go out the engineering airlock. So unlike the EVA airlock, we don't have to put on a spacesuit right now because we're going into a quote-unquote pressurized tunnel so that we can get to some of the other buildings that are part of this. So actually right in front of us there, that's the Musk Observatory. A couple different telescopes in there. We'll give just a quick look at the landscape. It looks quite a lot like Mars. And we're going to head into the greenhouse here. So we have our own greenhouse here at MDRS. Hey, Mark. Oh, hey. What are you doing right now? I'm trying to read the specifications on the light bulbs. I'm making a, a document that lets future greenhab officers know what they're getting into with the greenhab. Uh, so I'm trying to pull together all the information about the lighting, the heating, what's the space like here, and I'll be publishing that afterwards so everyone knows what this is like. Awesome, and yeah. you want to give us a quick explanation of why we have a greenhouse as part of a Mars habitat? Oh, sure. Um, any Mars habitat is going to need to provide food for itself to some degree. You can't just take all of it with you. And so here we're researching way, what are the most efficient ways to make that kind of food. For instance, over there we've got a microgreen experiment. Those crops are ready in less than 10 days and you don't even need soil to grow them. Um, but we're also looking at more traditional means of growing crops, which you can see over here with all the beans, tomatoes, the herbs, and uh, also 
there's research done here about how does having fresh food affect crew morale. Uh, it gets pretty old eating freeze-dried food the entire rotation. Yeah, I can tell you that firsthand now. All right, thanks, Mark. No problem. Okay, so we're going to leave the greenhouse here and go to the last of our official buildings here at MDRS. So we're back in the uh, pressurized tunnel here. What you hear right now is the generator running, so we alternate between that and solar power. You can see the solar panels right there. And this is our science dome. It's where I spend most of my time. Let's see if anyone's in here. Hey, Cesare. Hello, Sam. How's it going? What are you up to? Deciding rocks. What does that mean? I'm studying mineralogy of the rocks. Those are those that we collected together at the moons. Okay. And I use this compared with the spectra from the U.S. Geologic Survey to figure out what's there, how much there is, and how much we can use this for human purposes. For example, there's a lot of clays that can be used for construction. So uh, the mineralogy out here is very similar to that on Mars. So it's really cool to see, it's like, well, this is what we're gonna find there. And it's nice to know what we'll be able to use once we get there. All right, thank you. You wanna tell us what's this laser gun looking thing sitting on the table? So this nice gun, it's a portable spectrometer. Uh, it measures the reflection of the rocks uh, in the visible light and in the infrared portion of the spectrum. And this tells us what's in there, what minerals are there. All right, thank you. I'm just going to get a quick mm -hmm. panorama of the rest of the science dome here. Plenty of good lab equipment. And uh, last but not least, this is my little experiment running over here. So right now uh, I'm amplifying some DNA. I took some samples around the habitat and I'm trying to study the presence of bacteria or pathogens around the habitat and see how the isolated environment here has affected that. And I'm also trying to check for the bacteria on some of Mark's plants that he's growing. So I'm going to end with a nice view here outside of our window. This is the uh, best, best working spot at all of MDRS, if you ask me. So thanks for watching, and this is Crew 186 signing off.